Welcome back, sports fans. Second night of high school playoffs. A couple of double headers on tap with boys and girls striving for a win to advance to the second round. We begin our coverage in Milledgeville, Millytown, the 4A Baldwin Bravettes, region runner ups hosting Shaw out of Columbus. And the Red and Black start out on fire. Team captain Madison Ruff scores from 10 feet out with the jumper, showing the mid range. She had 14. But this game was won by the Bigs, going hard to paint. Six foot sophomore Cassidy Neal with a nice finish at the cup, two of her 15 points. Followed by a six foot two sophomore Janiah Walker off the assist from Ruff. Walker using a square, she had 13. And when the inside game is working, Baldwin is hard to beat. The Bravettes are on a 12 0 run to start the game, and they wouldn't look back. Walker with full court outlet to co captain Jasmine Williams. She absorbs the foul. And one, she had 10 points as well. Survive in advance, Baldwin wins big 68 to 44. Baldwin fellas up next, hosting the Cairo Syrup Makers. Nice ball movement from the three time region champs. Ends up with a splash from Jordan Webb. Then check out this play of the week nominee, Kenneth Kelsey with the acrobatic layup off the glass. Braves are trending in the right direction. And here's Mr. Walking Bucket, Jacoby Nixon off the inbound pass, having quite the postseason already keeping things moving and just too much grit and physicality from the Milledgeville squad. Quintrell Wells with a pickpocket and the score. Baldwin sweeps. The boys win 55-50 over Cairo. A couple of scores to pass along. Dodge boys and girls sweep to move on to the second round. The Westside boys fall on the road and a close one. Macon County takes down Twiggs County. Veterans boys lose in overtime. Perry boys with a nice win over Shaw. Jones County, big road upset over number one seed Braswell, Bradwell. Wilco Blue Storm staying alive with the win at the Palace. And Dublin boys shock Brooks County on the road.